Hi, everyone. Today we are going to set up settings class with Singleton in mind. This excellent tool by Hextent Studios, help us to speed up the process. For installing this plugin, go to this website. Link in the description. After installing, create a custom script for saving data, about your in-game settings. I called mine game settings. Once created, double-click to open the script and edit it. The script should be inheriting from Hextant Studio's custom settings class. Also note it require generic argument, so pass in this script to it. After that we must provide a settings provider for Unity. This is an editor-only feature. Meaning if you were to build this game without separating editor features, then the build would fail. To separate editor-only feature use a conditional compilation, or as C-sharp calls it, preprocessor directives. Write hashtag if Unity underscore editor and close if statement with hashtag and if. After that, we can now provide a method returning a settings provider. Note before continuing, we also must provide an attribute called settings. This attribute controls how everything serializes and saves. After that we can create our variables for saving our in-game settings. For an example create enum about quality type. After that now create our settings provider. Create a class from settings provider. The first argument is where to store it in the project settings. Second argument is which scope to use. After that, we can introduce our label, our settings name, and GUI handler. GUI handler is an action passing in a string, which we can call it search context. After that, we just create normal editor GUI layout. Note, to access our data about, we need to create a new serialized object from our instance. From that we can access property field and our variables. We can also give a keyword, if we like. Now everything is done. Note that the settings provider won't actually work. We need to give an attribute about our settings provider, in order to work. And now everything is completed. You can modify as much as you like. Note, for every variable you create, the more you edit your GUI layout you need to create as well. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video.